Today I will show you how to make a real Italian bruschetta. Not one of the fake recipes, but the real, real one. Hi, if we have met, my name is Max from Max Shows Cooking and on my channel I show you real Italian recipes and a few variation of mine. What do we need for our bruschetta? There are very few ingredients because it's, an, it's a food that the people ate when out working in the field. Normally we use old bread, hard old bread. And since I don't have any old bread, I use a ciabatta, which I will cut in pieces and then break and the toast in the oven for, from both sides. We need fresh tomatoes, we need onions, red onions, white onions, what you prefer. We need a little bit of garlic, I will show you later. We need oregano, that's fresh oregano. You can use the dried one and we need a good olive oil. While my oven is heating up, I have a few steps to do. First, I will slice the bread in some thick slices. Then I will cut the tomatoes in dices and slice the onions. Don't touch the garlic. I'm slicing the bread, like I said, in about some thick pieces. After I've done that, continue with the tomatoes. Next step is cutting up tomatoes. I'll do it like this. I half them. I cut out the stem, nothing too complicated. And then I half it again and I cut out pieces. If these pieces are too big, for my taste or for your taste. You can cut more stripes and cut them a little bit smaller depending on your personal taste. For me it's more or more like I less of a personal taste but it's more like I, I'm inclined. Sometimes I cut them a little bit bigger, sometimes I cut them a little bit smaller. After having cut up diced, slice, whatever you want, the tomatoes, I'll continue with my onions. I use this one because that's what I got that are fresh here local and they are very, very tasty. And so I use this one, but you can use as always, whatever you want. I'll cut them in half, cut small cuts, and then I go and we mixed our onion and our tomatoes. The so next step is we take our fresh oregano. Remember the stem, stem is very hard. We don't want that in our bruschetta. So we just pluck the leaves and on we go. It doesn't have to be too accurate, too small. Remember it's a poor man's recipe and that's what I like to transmit with this recipe here. How much oregano or how less you put on in your bruschetta is yours. If you really want to, you can, uh, instead of oregano, you can uh, put in basil but originally it's oregano. We cut it in tribes or in pieces. You don't have to be too nice or too accurate and oh, this smells so good. And that's all. And I mix that in. Maybe you are asking yourself what's with the garlic? When does the garlic will be mixed in? It won't. The next step in our process is to put in the olive oil. I would put in around three to four tablespoons. After having put in the, the oil, I use normal tap water and use around the same amount. I, uh, I used four tablespoons of oil. Now I use four tablespoons of water. And that's because normally you would take the, the old bread under your, your water tap and soak it really good. Since I don't have old bread, but use fresh bread, uh, I don't put it under the, the water tap, but use it here like I did with the normal water mixing in oil and water. And so I can put that on my bread and help the bread get a little bit softer. Remember, you have to taste everything. Uh, after having mixed everything up, you have salt in it, you have peppered it. Now we have to taste it. Could use a little bit more salt. I took the bread out of the oven and it should look like this. Not too dark, but very crunchy. The bread is cooled down so we can start the next and nearly last step. Now we take our uh, garlic cloth and you see on this side is a very hard Piece, that's the one we cut away. I leave the rest like it is. 
and I cut away only this piece. Now I take my bread and I use my garlic and pass it over two, a few times and then I put it with this on the side where I put my garlic. And now for the last step, we have our bread, we have our topping and we start out by taking only the, the juice, the fluid and putting it on top of our bruschetta. After having put the juice on all the bread pieces, we will continue with the tomatoes. We take a little bit of tomato and a little bit of juice and put it on top. Nothing too fancy. Remember, we are still talking about a very rustical food, poor man's food. They didn't have time or didn't have time to make it too fancy. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video, you liked the recipe. If so, please like the video. If you want to get uh, more information, more videos on cooking, on real Italian cooking, please subscribe to my video so that you get alerted when I post new Italian recipes. And that was how to make a real bruschetta. As always, if you have questions, please use the comments below. I will put the, the ingredients in the description, link a few things if you want to. But the most important thing is that you cook and you like what you cooked and you eat it. Thank you.